OK, we're here at Anfield to speak with John Aldridge, the former Liverpool striker and now the chair of Forever Reds, which is the former Players Association. And we're speaking ahead of the Christmas lunch, which is coming up this December. And there's going to be six former players, including Aldo there at the event. And also there'll be a live Q&A with Jurgen, Jordan Henderson and another first team player. Well, it's something we've done um, since I, I took over the chairman of the ex-players, uh, the, the, the big event, some seven years or so ago. And it's, it's, it was our biggest fundraising event, you know, to raise money for, for local charities. But now the Forever Reds have took it over uh, and the club. It's not just for charity, it's for the ex-players themselves, which, you know, we're talking about Ray, you know, in, in latter days we could have done more for Ray or other the players. Ron Yates at the moment, poor Ron's in a home, not, not well at all, with, with Alzheimer's, has been there for a few years, we've helped them. We, we need to keep on helping the, the ex-players, you know, we're not getting any younger. Um, you know, we've seen how many have passed away uh, very recently, the Saint, Sir Roger. Ray Clemens, now Ray Kennedy, uh, and we're all not getting any younger, so it's nice to have a pot of money available for these ex-players who have done the great pitch and, and been in the shrine here, you know, and help them in, 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 in the needy times. And obviously you speak with a lot of the former players, and how much have they missed having these types of events and being able to come to the, the games during the Yeah, 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 yeah. We, we, we love the games. We work for the club, we're very fortunate. Uh, club look after us really well uh, and it's great to get together because we're, we're all big pals as well as team, big pals from the 60s plays, the 70s plays, uh, Ian Callan, I adore the man, uh, try to sit next to him, everyone's clambering to sit next to him every game, he, he's our Bobby Charlton, you know, when, when United used Bobby Charlton uh, and, and, and we're really good friends so these events, you know, a great time to get together as well. And ov obviously on the day there's going to be yourself, Rushy, Sunes, Phil Tomo, Barnes and Cali. It's quite a six a side team, but I want to yeah. know who goes in goal. <laughs> I think I'd have to, wouldn't I? <laughs> They've got to play out. They've got to, uh, we're open, we're open um, quite a few more players. Well, there's going to be quite a few more as well as them great, great players you mentioned there. Uh, it's going to be a great day. Um, and we just want to get as many people in as possible. After, after people waiting for so long for these events to come back on, it's an opportunity to come to the great stadium in a fantastic room with, with these fantastic players, not me, that is, and, uh, and have a proper uh, Christmas shindig and, and raise money for, you know, for what, what we all want. And there'll also be a question and answer session with mm -hmm. Jürgen, uh, Jordan and maybe another first team player. So my question to you is, if you could ask Jürgen one question, what would it be? Oh dear me, you put that on me toes. <laughs> Who are we buying in January? There you go. <laughs> if you were Jürgen, then who would you be buying? Oh, I don't know. I'd like to, if we had the money, see, I'm, I'm, I'm a striker. I love, we've got four fantastic strikers. Minamino's doing well. Origi, he's there for, you know, when, when we need him. But I, I, I'd love us to go and get Haaland. He's the right age. He, he gives you something a little bit different. And imagine him with the four or five players we've got up top, um, as well as the defence we've got. I just, he'd be the one, but it's probably pie in the sky at the moment. <laughs> and so obviously the event is raising funds for the former players who are suffering with ill health. Um, it's an increasingly, as you kind of touched on, you know, a topic that more and more players are having issues. Um, and have you had discussions with any of your old teammates about this, with, you know, dementia and other... Yes, issues? absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, you know, it's something close to me up because being a fan, you know, I watch these players, I adore these players, and to be the, the chairman of, of them, it, I'm very passionate about it, you know, to make sure that no one's in need of anything, you know, uh, who, who, you know, even if they don't come to the game, they, they know what, where my phone number is, let me know. We've done some really good things uh, over the past to help our ex-players, but now we're in a position to do more, you know, if, if people back us up, not just in this event, that when we play in, in it, I think it's Barcelona next March, full house here, the club and the ex, ex um, uh, the Forever Reds are going to give a significant amount of money towards towards our, our help, well, our help that we want to look for the uh, the ex players. So these things are 
really, really important. I can't, I can't stress how important they are because we're not getting any younger. And there's some of the players now, you know, struggling a little bit. And one player who's publicly spoken about his battle with dementia is Terry McDermott. So mm -hmm. I just wanted to firstly get your memories of him as a player and whether you've spoken to him and how he's doing. Yeah, Terry's doing all right. You know, he's aware of, of the, the horrible illness he's got, as we all are. Um, what a player. What a player. I remember the game here standing on the cop. We beat Hamburg 6 0 in the Super Cup. He scored four. Kevin Keegan came back. He was after Sir Roger Hunt. Kevin Keegan was my. He was right up there, Kevin. And he came back and uh, the cop taunted him. But Terry Mack that night was unbelievable. He scored four goals. He won 6 0 in the Super Cup. Uh, but he scored. He didn't score any easy goals, Terry. You know, they were all superlative goals. And the one, obviously, in the, in the 77. European Cup final. That was a classic. And finally, um, you know, just with the thoughts on that and what was spoken about with players who are passing and got illness, do you think that football could do more? And would you ever be in favour of like heading being outlawed? It's something that's been yeah, murmured. It's, 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 it's one of those areas where it's not for me to, to really say, but I, I'm concerned re regarding Alzheimer's and, and the dementia because. I had the ball as much as anyone else in training. I loved having the ball from when I was six, seven years of age. My dad used to coach me and then I used to stay behind all the time when I was at the clubs to make myself better heading the ball. Um, so you, you worry not about yourself, because I've seen, seen it at first hand. It's not selfish about yourself. It's the people that suffer around you. It's the people that suffer and you know you, you forget the names and, and the loved ones who have seen you diminish. It's, it's really it's a horrible disease, any disease is horrible, but, but it's, it's one that we've got to keep an eye on and uh, there's, there's, a, there's a few uh, different charities out there that are, that are working with it now. We just hope the PFA get involved a lot more, to be quite honest, from a personal point of view. I've been in touch with them uh, and, and I'd like them to get involved a little bit more because it is you know, getting more prominent. You know, the older, the older people are living, in, and especially with ex-footballers. You look at, at, at our ex-players who've passed away, 70, 80% of them have had dementia or Alzheimer's. So that's how important it is.